Let's make some homemade yogurt in the Instant Pot. Yum! As far as I know, you only need these two ingredients. A little bit of yogurt that has cultures in it and a gallon of whatever percent milk you want. I'm doing whole milk, so let's try. Make sure your Instant Pot is clean and then pour in that whole gallon of milk, baby. Mm, thank you, cows. Thank God. Goodbye, milk. I'll see you soon, yogurt. I guess step one is pasteurize. I pressed the yogurt button and now it's gonna go for 30 minutes or something. You wanna get your milk to about 180, 200 degrees temp. I am checking it at minute 18 and just stirring it so that it doesn't burn to the bottom. I know it's beeping at me. I'm gonna shut it in just a minute. All right, we got it to 181 degrees. So now we are opening up the lid and probably closing it a little bit and letting it cool down to about 115 degrees. Alrighty, it has been cooling down for like two hours now. And let's see, the temperature is between 110 and 115. So this is perfect timing. Okay, the recipe only calls for like two tablespoons, but this is a very small um, five ounce, 5.3 ounce, uh, little thing and this is all it has in it so you want that culture pasteurized grade a non-fat milk um it's greek yogurt so it's probably has culture in it now i'm going to take about a uh, half a cup of just my milk mixture and pour it in here so i can temper it out a little bit okie dokie i mixed all that yogurt and that milk together and now we are just going to pour it all in there baby use the spatula um yep there's my little mess i was trying to avoid it but whatever and it looks like it's mixed together perfectly. Very happy. I think the next thing I have to do is press yogurt again. So let's try it. Let me close it and try it. Maybe it just has to cool down all the way. I'm going to check back on this in like an hour or two. I don't know. Okay, so it just needed to cool down a little bit more. So same add yogurt starter. I already did that part. Y'all so loud. Okay. I pressed start and now it's in the fermenting stage so we're gonna check this when I wake up. I'm so excited! Okay, it's been almost a full eight hours so let's check the yogurt. It only has 11 minutes left so I'm gonna check it. It really smells like yogurt so let's try it. Oh my goodness you guys. That's perfect. That is like the perfect consistency. And when it sets up, it's even going to be a little bit thicker. Um, if you want it even more thicker, you can take this, put it in cheesecloth, and let the whey like, completely go out of it. Um, but this is pretty perfect, so I'm going to set this in a container and put it in the fridge. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Wow, that is so much yogurt. My lanta. I put it in our little Cambro and it made almost exactly four quarts, which is almost exactly a gallon. So that's pretty cost efficient. Very happy with that. I'll tell you how it tastes once it gets cooled down. Okay, I put some granola in there and some blueberry butter that my friend Megan had made me um, for our wedding. So look how creamy that is. Let's give it a try. I haven't tried any of it yet, so I'm excited. The yogurt was delicious. It doesn't have like a tangy flavor like I thought it would, um, like most yogurts do. It was very smooth, um, just very well balanced flavor. I don't know. It was super good and um, now I have four quarts of yogurt to go through. So if you have any recipes that include yogurt, please send them my way um, because I think we have enough for now until eternity comes. So. Hope you guys enjoy and um, maybe have the recipe next time. Enjoy and have a good night. Bye.